So Lauren Boebert is now backing Greg Lopez, who has been put up for the special election to replace Ken Buck out in Colorado. Now, why is this important? Because Greg Lopez is another anti-women candidate who says there should be no exceptions for abortion whatsoever. Take a look at this. Uh, <laughs> one, of the, one of the social issues I so line up with you on and I agree with is your stance on the right to life for the unborn. Can you tell us your stance on that, maybe for viewers and where you are. Yes, by all means. Look, I am a strong pro-life supporter. I believe life starts at conception and there is no exceptions for abortion. You know what the law that they just passed here in Colorado, the abortion law is really pure evil. And it has nothing to do with the, the woman's health. It has nothing to do with that because we have medical doctors that will protect a woman's health. You know, so there's nothing about health when it talks about abortion. So the reason I shared that with you is because I've said many times that come November, we have to hold Republicans accountable and we have to remind everyone of what they have done against women. We need to know who every one of these politicians are who are out waging war on women and women's health. And as always, when it comes to these MAGA Republicans, there is always hypocrisy looming right around the corner because it turns out that Greg Lopez once upon a time assaulted his pregnant wife. Take a look at him trying to weasel his way out of this one without exceptions for rape and incest and life or health of the mother. Additionally, in 1993, you were arrested for violently assaulting your then pregnant wife. Some people might see those two things at odds, but they both involve you exerting control over a woman's body. Is that what Coloradans want from their governor? Well, first of all, it wasn't a violent situation. If you let, you know, if you go back and you look- You were arrested for assault. We were both arrested for assault, mm -hmm. both of us. And okay. one of you was pregnant. So again, the question so is, the, do Coloradans want somebody who has a history both in word and in physical let me tell you this, Kyle. of controlling the bodies? Of Here's the thing. There's only been one perfect man that's ever walked this earth, and we nailed him to the cross. I'm not a perfect man. I've made my mistakes, but I've learned from them. And I think most people learn from their mistakes. And I think really that's what people want to hear. You don't see it as an issue of control over women's bodies? No, I do not. They I don't understand how you, con you connect those things. I don't know about the rest of you, but that is not a guy that I won't make in decisions for my daughter's future. That is not a guy that needs to be making decisions for anybody, as a matter of fact. And we need to always be aware of who these politicians are, where they are, and we have to vote them out. We cannot allow them to have control because they have full-blown declared war on women, and that's the kind of people that's doing it. There's always hypocrisy, though. Anytime they come out extremely pro-life, you can always find hypocrisy. And Lauren Boebert is the absolute poster girl for hypocrisy. Anytime she speaks, it's hypocritical. And now she's out here saying that she talks to people. She wants to know about their faith because their faith will tell her how they're going to vote. Get a load of this horse crap. For the people who elected them. Uh, so this is something that I look at in candidates across the nation where do you stand in your faith? Because that's going to tell me a lot about your character and how you will vote. Um, now, unfortunately, sometimes people let us down. And I think it's that spirit of pride that comes in that gets you looking on the inside at your own abilities and the natural circumstances. Liver for the people who elected. The natural circumstances. Liver for the people who elected them. Uh, so this is something that I look at in candidates across the nation. Where do you stand in your faith? Because that's going to tell me a lot about your character and how you will vote. Um, now, unfortunately, sometimes people let us down. And I think it's that spirit of pride that comes in that gets you looking on the inside at your own abilities and the natural circumstances. You know, for once, I kind of have to hand it to Lauren Boebert. I have to give her credit for being able to sit there with a straight face and say, you know, sometimes people let you down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lauren, uh, you, you've been letting people down ever since you first appeared on the scene. That's, that, that is Lauren Boebert's whole shtick, is letting people down. She's always apologizing for letting people down. That is not the kind of person who I want preaching to me. And then all hell broke loose. Rampant, evil, grabbing and grasping, vicious, backstabbing. They made life hell on earth with their envy, wanton killing. I don't know what a wanton killing is. I'm gonna have to look that one up. But it sounds interesting. And I don't think I wanna be a part of it. 
I understand that people make bad decisions. I understand that people make mistakes. I've made plenty of them in my lifetime, but I've never been out here trying to cash in on Christianity and preach to people and tell them that there's going to be this great awakening of righteousness. But that's what she's doing. Get a load of this. It doesn't matter if we are in divided government right now. Jesus is still Lord. And I believe that we are going to have an uprising of righteousness in our nation, that God is exalting those who humble themselves, and that we are going to see the signs and wonders that are talked about in the Bible uh, in this generation, in this time. You know, folks, I've read the Bible from front to back twice. I've studied it my entire life, and I continue to study it to this day because of people like Lauren Boebert. Because of how far they go to bastardize it, I keep going back to it and reading it again just to remind myself of how wrong they got it. If you read any end time scripture, it talks about in the last days, there will be a man come along who will deceive people. He will deceive the smartest of Christians. He will deceive the most righteous of people into believing that he's doing the will of God. They are out there doing it right in front of everyone's face. There's complete and total hypocrisy everywhere you look. And yet Christians, a lot of Christians are giving them a pass for it. What I'll never understand, if you truly believe that Jesus Christ gave his life for you and that through his blood you are saved, why on earth would you ever want Lauren Boebert or Donald Trump speaking on that man's behalf? Why would you want someone with their past? Why would you want someone with their future, with their current present. I mean, that's the thing. In the Bible, any time that Jesus forgave someone, he always said, okay, you're forgiven. Now go and sin no more. You're supposed to stop when you accept Christ. You're supposed to stop doing the things that Lauren Boebert continues to do and Donald Trump continues to do. It's not like any of them just suddenly found God and became righteous and holy, humble people. That's not what they're doing. They're taking it the complete opposite way. So why should we ever take anything they say seriously? Why should we ever believe they truly believe in their hearts that that's how it is? I don't believe them. I can't. I can't take them seriously because they've showed us that they have no standards. They've showed us they can't even live up to the standards they set for themselves. So I do not want someone like Lauren Boebert ever preaching to me. It gets under my skin every time she does it because I just catch myself going back to the Bible and reading and going, yeah, in the last days, there's going to be people coming along that's going to trick everybody into thinking they're one of them. If, if, if the book is true, I mean, if the book is true, there couldn't be a more blatant example of that scripture. I mean, I can definitely make that one fit. I'm not saying it makes me smart, but it definitely fits. It's just, it's crazy to me that people are okay with that kind of person speaking on behalf of their God. It says a whole lot about who they are as people.